Hey guys, it's Justin from Shock Therapy. Just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the new Polaris XP Turbo with a Dynamix uh, suspension control system. We were lucky enough to get our hands on one way before anybody else, uh, certainly a, a few weeks or a month before the dealerships do. Our intent is to try and decipher exactly how the system works and what the goods and bads are and how we can make it better for you with a kit from us. Uh, we really enjoy the fact that it makes significant changes to the way the suspension functions while you're driving. The inputs on the system, brake, throttle, steering control, uh, tire wheel spin, shock extension. And between all of those inputs, the computer is actively changing up to 200 times a second how stiff the rear shocks are under acceleration to limit rear squat. It also changes the front shocks uh, stiffening them when you grab the brakes to try and eliminate or at least mitigate all of the front nose dive under braking. Due to the steering inputs, it's also stiffening the shocks on the outside of a corner as you turn in to try and limit some of the body roll. Combining all of those things together make for a really stable feeling car. So after putting a few hundred miles on it, we realized that it's still, even though it, it softens and stiffens the car according to what you're up to, um, at a softest position, it's still quite stiff. Small chop and chatter is very jarring, rattles your teeth. Um, it's almost impossible to bottom the car out, which is a good thing in most situations, but I think for most people who are driving around, um, enjoying a trail ride or a desert ride or something more relaxed, it's going to be too stiff for them and they would want a, a more plush ride. So our, our goals right now are to start with spring kits and we're gonna go through all of our spring testing to try and offer a a level two, three, four spring kit people can grow into, all with the same goal in mind to try and plush up the ride, make the car more stable, keep the tire on the ground, and uh, just improve the system. Next, uh, after springs, we're gonna dig into the shock. We're gonna be doing valving, piston changes, certainly some machine work and flow rate changes inside the shock, all with the same goal in mind, that is to, to have a system that is more plush in the chop and chatter and still doesn't bottom out when you need it. Um, just giving you a much more satisfying ride that everybody could be in from your wife to the to the fastest Robbie Gordon driver that ever wanted to be in the car.